Good day friends, welcome back to SmartBookAid. In today's video, we are going to be looking at this problem. It says, a family has three children. Find the probability that all are boys. So we are having three children, right? So we should find the probabilities that all are boys or all are girls. The simpler form of this is that, because we have different form of doing it, but the simpler form of doing this is that at first, we know it's a family member, right? And um, the probability that three children, right? They have three children. So the highest combination we can have is two to the power of something, right? So that something is representing the number of children, right? So X is the number of children, right? So now two to the power, of, the number of children in this case now is three, right? So if the number of children is three, therefore two to the power of three gives us what? Eight. Definitely, our pattern of combination will be what? 8. So, how can we do it? We know that in a family of 3, the pattern combination we can have is this. We can have either a boy, Um, you have what you need to first of all do whenever you have it 8 like that. We have boy and girl. So, you first of all write down your boy in 4 places, right? And then, you will write down the girls too in 4 places because that makes it 8, right? If it is 16, you write down the boys eight times and the girls eight times you got the point so now after you are done writing boys four times girls four times then you start reducing it so you now write boys by two girls by two now boys by two girls by two now the last one is boy by one girl by one you just keep reducing it by a factor of two right now if you look we have one two three four five six seven eight this is the eight combination we can have in a family whereby they have three children so what we need to find is that we should find the probabilities that all are boys or are girls. So first of all, we say probability that all boys, right, or we know all is union, right? And probability that all girls. So we know that this union is the all sign, right? And it signifies addition. So we need to add the add them up. So now we know that each of these, each of these, they are having probability of one out of eight because this is eight. So each of them is having probability out one over eight, right? They're having probability one over eight. Now let's look at the probability that all our boys, how many are they? So the probability that all our boys is just one, which is this. So we're having boy, boy, boy. So the probability that all are boys is 1 over 8. Now we know the union side is addition. So we'll just add this up. Now the probability that all are girls is just only 1 also. So also the probability is what? 1 over 8. So by adding 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8, we end up having this. That gives us 2 by 8. Am I right? which is same as 1 over 4. Probability that a family has three children and it's either boy or girl is 1 over 4. Right? That's how simple the problem is. So I hope the concept is clear. If you have any question, feel free to ask in the comment section and I will be there to respond. Goodbye.